Hey Cloud Gamers, we have found on the Xbox Insiders site that Xbox Cloud Gaming in beta is now available to insiders through the Xbox app for Windows. Yes, that's right. Starting right now, if you are part of Xbox Insiders, you will have access to the Cloud Gaming beta within the Xbox app on Windows PC. So we saw this and thought we'd dive in and have a look as I am an insider. So I opened up the Xbox app and as you can see here, there is now a cloud gaming tab. If you hit that cloud gaming option, you are now presented with the 100 plus games and the controller and network connection settings. Now I had to hurriedly go and grab my controller as I wasn't quite expecting it to be working straight away. And the great thing to look at here is that it does actually detect as soon as your controller is plugged in now, unlike the web version where you need to restart the browser for it to fully detect and get rid of that warning. So without further ado, I thought I'd dive into a few games to have a look at the quality here compared to the browser version. So first of all, I dove into a Plague Tale Innocence as I'm doing a comparison across the cloud services on this as it's just landed on PS now as well. So do keep your eye out on the channel later this week for a comparison of a play tale across three cloud services. As you can see here, the quality is absolutely phenomenal and I'm really impressed and I will say that the Xbox PC app, it is a big improvement over the browser version as it was stretched. However, the PC app does seem to adjust to the native resolution or it's just had a resolution bump as it's streaming to the PC. I must admit it does look so much nicer than the browser version. So we will be looking at some comparisons for this as well later down the line. So A Plague Tale is quite a slow moving game. So let's dive into one of the newer games of The Ascent. Now I'm not very good at The Ascent, but one thing for sure is it is a very good looking game and also very fast moving. As you can see here, the quality is absolutely stunning. Again, it's pushing more than 60 frames per second and we can see just how good that quality is now it's on the PC version. Definitely a huge bump over the browser version. However, I do just die a lot in the ascent once we're past those initial stages and getting swamped here. I did go into a co-op session but nobody joined so that may be my downfall. And finally I wanted to dive into Battlefield 5. We recently covered this on the channel as it's landed on xCloud due to EA Play which is a huge benefit of Xbox Cloud Gaming to have the Battlefield title on in. Hopefully we'll see 2042 follow suit. However, once again, I thought the quality was pretty good on the browser version, but my goodness, the PC version here is absolutely phenomenal. Even though I'm a PC gamer, apart from having to use a controller, I don't see a reason for having to install Battlefield 5 if I wanted to game on my PC now. I am running at 1440p and I must say this is definitely good enough to just play without having to install to just dive in and have a bit of fun on Battlefield. Now it is worth noting I did stick with this game for quite a while and I was racking up the kills so input latency is definitely not an issue but I was using a wired Xbox Series X controller definitely still the best way to play on PC to keep that input latency down but again I'm just impressed that the PC app has had yet another quality boost over the browser version let us know what you think and if you are an Xbox insider how you are getting on with the PC app Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.